Okay, Jeremy, what does it mean to validate and align? Validate and align is a, it's a great formula for peace building just at a very interpersonal, quick, effective, efficient level. To validate someone is essentially a form of reflective listening. So I'll give a formula for validation. It's concerns or feelings plus goals. So if you could listen to someone when they're giving you something that they're having a conflict with, whether it's with you or with something else, if you could listen to what are this person's concerns or the feelings that they're expressing and what is it that they want? If you could listen for that and at a very deep level, maybe their underlying goals, what, what it sounds like they're really wanting, what it sounds like they're really concerned about. If you could listen for it and then repeat it back, what are their concerns plus their goals? So if you were to say to me, I'm having a lot of trouble with the way that you're looking over my work, it feels like you're monitoring me all the time. Um, I don't really like to be man micromanaged, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I listen to this and I say, it, it's, it sounds like you're concerned with being managed too closely and monitored and you'd like some more autonomy. Does that sound right? So just repeating it back, and I know it sounds a little strange, like if you just, it almost sounds like too rudimentary, but, but if you could just, if you could hear them and repeat it back, it, it helps people feel really heard to go, it sounds like you're concerned with this, or it sounds like you're feeling really frustrated. Sometimes you could just skip the concerns or the feelings part and you could just go right to goals. Okay, got it. So it sounds like you really want more autonomy. You know, so so just repeating that back, what their goal is, you know, one part of that. So concerns and or their goals, if you repeat it back to them, it makes them feel heard. It also makes sure that you're clear on what they what they were saying. So you might repeat it back and they go, no, that's not what I was saying. I was saying this and then you could do it again. Oh, I got it. OK, so what you really want is um, you you want to be able to to just to do your thing on your own time and just dictate dictate the way you work, because that's the way you you're most creative. Does that sound right? Yes, that's that's what I'm saying. Okay, so it just, just doing that feels really validating. Now the alignment part comes in with, can you authentically align with some part of, of that validation sequence? So whatever they're concerned about or whatever their goal is, what is it that you can align with? Hey, I also want you to feel really creative and productive here. That's important to me too. Hey, I'm also concerned that you feel, you know, micromanaged or uh, that you're not feeling uh, that you're given enough trust or autonomy. That's concerning to me too. What do we do about that? So, right. So if I reflect it back and then I align with some part of it, that, that would be really, uh, really important. I think as a, as a reflective listening exercise that makes people feel heard. And it also gives them the sense that you're on their team. And remember, that's what we want to do when we're doing peace building, we're especially on the interpersonal level. We want to make sure that people feel heard and that they know we're on their team, that we're not their enemy, we're not their opponent, we're not on the other side. You know, so how do I validate someone, acknowledge them, listen, reflect, and then align with them in some way, get on their team.